So one important idea is that we can't choose part of a term to multiply. So if our binomial terms have powers or additional factors, we have to include them. For example, let's try to find the x squared y to the fifth term in the expansion. So to get an x squared term, we'll have to choose a 3x term twice. But this means we'll have to choose the other term, 4y squared, 10 minus 2, 8 times. And so our term will be 10 choose 2, 3x twice, 4y squared, 8 times. Now, before we proceed, it's worth noting that there's a whole bunch of numbers here, but we're not going to worry about those immediately because we're looking for a particular term. And if we expand our powers, we see that we get an x squared y to the 16th. And this won't be an x squared y to the 5th term. And you should convince yourself that there's no other way we can even get an x squared, and so there won't be an x squared y to the fifth term. Well, what about an x squared term? And we don't know what the y is. So here we mean that the term has x squared and possibly other factors that aren't x. So again, we'd get x squared by choosing 3x twice and 4y squared eight times. So of our 10 factors, two of them will be 3x's and eight 4y squareds. And we'll compute. Well, at least we'll make sure our variable terms work out. We're not going to bother multiplying out the numbers. What if we wanted the x cubed term in the expansion of x plus 1 divided by x raised to power 7? So we might start out by saying, well, we'd get an x cubed term by choosing x three times. But then we'd have to choose 1 divided by x four times, and our actual term would be 7 choose 3, x cubed, 1 divided by x to the fourth. Again, ignoring our numerical values, the variable parts of this expression will simplify down to 1 divided by x, and this is not x cubed. Now what's different here is that we could incorporate that other factor and possibly get an x cubed. So let's think about this. To get an x cubed term, we need to choose x k times, don't know how many that is, and 1 divided by x, the remaining 7 minus k times. And what we'd want is that our variables, x to the k times 1 divided by x to the power 7k, has to be x cubed. And we can do a little bit of algebraic simplification here. It can do a little more than that. One more. And what we want is our exponents to be the same. So we want 2k minus 7 to be equal to 3. We can solve. And that tells us to get an x cubed term, we need to choose our x term 5 times and 1 divided by x 2 times. And so our actual term will be 7 choose 5, x chosen 5 times, and 1 divided by x chosen 2 times. And we can expand and simplify, which gets us our x cubed term. So let's try to find our y cubed term in our expansion x squared y plus x divided by y squared to power 8. And maybe we can find it, maybe we can't. Let's see. So we have to choose x squared y some number of times, k times, and x divided by y squared the remaining 8 minus k times. So we'd want x squared y to power k times x divided by y squared to power 8 minus k to be something y cubed. And we'll do a little bit of algebraic simplification.
And we don't actually care about the power on x because this y cubed term could include factors of x that we don't really keep track of, but we do want to make sure that the exponent on y is equal to 3. And so we'd want 3k minus 16 to be equal to 3. Solving. And so we want to choose x squared y 19 third times. And that's a problem. We can't choose it a fractional number of times. And so that says there's no y cubed term in the expansion. And again, it's because this equation doesn't have a whole number solution. So there can be no y cubed term. What about a y to the 11th? Well, again, we want to choose x squared y k times and the other term 8 minus k times. And we want to make sure that when we do that, we get a y to the 11th plus possibly some other things. Do a little algebra. And we want 3k minus 16 to equal 11. And solving. And this time we have a whole number solution, so all we need to do is pick x squared y nine times, and there's a problem because there's only eight factors to choose from. And since this would require more factors of x squared y than we have, there is no y to the 11th term. Well, how about a y to the fifth term? So we'll go through the process. And we want 3k minus 16 to equal 5. And we can choose x squared y 7 times and the other factor, the remaining 8 minus 7, 1 time. And so we can get a y to the fifth term by choosing x squared y 7 times and x divided by y squared once. And that term will be 8 choose 7 x squared y to the seventh, x divided by y squared to the one-th, and we compute to get our y to the fifth term. 